Hello everybody. Thought I'd record another video about uh, Toro 52 inch mower decks. Um, I've owned a lot of Toro and wheel horse stuff over the last uh, oh, about 25 years and I've come to like the size and cut quality of the 52 inch deck. Uh, right here in the foreground is a 5XI series 52 inch deck. See it has the um, the frame. This, this frame here that attaches to the uh, lift um, mechanism on the tractor, the attach-o-matic. Uh, this one here is a 52 inch uh, for a 260 series Toro tractor. I have three of these, two more back there. One of them uh, was on a 266H that I parted out during last year or the year before. And um, I got three of these, one right there. One right there, I got these two in a trade to uh, a guy about two years ago. I traded a belly blade plus a hundred bucks for these two. This one's a little bit rough. Uh, this one, um, I, I, th I think he might have used um, coarse thread bolts to put the blades on, and I hope he didn't. I, I still haven't taken the the bolts and the blades off to inspect but um, might be a bit of money to fix that if, if he did anyway I I'm pretty sure the right spindle pretty sure the right spindle on the 5XI series 52 inch deck is the same as the right spindle on the 260 series deck if you're going to a Toro dealer, you're looking at about 300 bucks, maybe more. That is, if they're not discontinued. The um, 260 series, under this shield, that's a double pulley. There's the upper pulley. This belt goes up ahead to the PTO on the, on the engine, the bottom of the engine. And on... The 5XI series, it's a double pulley in the middle. The belt goes up to the mule drive uh, with a couple of pulleys that run up to the horizontal shaft engine. Uh, but um, I've also in the past, I had, uh, I had a few 52 inch for the Groundsmaster mower. The same basic stamping, but with different brackets and stuff. The Groundsmaster, actually the Groundsmaster and the commercial walk behind with a floating deck have these on, on all four corners. They, they use the pins. The pins go in here for adjusting the height. That's actually, this one's from a 44 inch deck. I got about nine ten years ago after the uh, economy crashed the guy had a mower that caught on fire and um, I got the carrier frame with the casters I think I bought it for like 50 bucks or so I bought it basically for the right angle gearbox but this gearbox stopped it was kind of stiff it turned kind of stiff when I got it now it won't turn so I'm either going to have to take it apart if I want to fix it and use it or or I've tried to sell it. Nobody's called wanting to buy it. But um, Toro also used the stamped 52 inch deck shell on a few zero turns. Um, they've also made a cut and weld 52 inch mower deck. Uh, for commercial zero turns, my neighbor has um, a 74410 52-inch cut, 19-horse Kawasaki twin, 
and that's a cut and weld deck not a stamped deck like this but um, yeah oh I think I said that yeah the commercial walk yeah the grounds master 117 118 120 all have a right angle gearbox the, um, yeah that's the one for a 44 the 52 inch deck has a larger gearbox and the 48 inch recycler or rear discharge uses the same right angle gearbox as the 52 inch but you don't want to mess them up it's a pretty pretty expensive um, gearbox to replace if, if you can still get it through Toro I've been uh, tempted to uh, take the double spindle the double pulley spindle from the left side of one of these 260 series decks and put it on the left side of a 5XI except I think it would be rubbing the um, the footwell over here here's my 522XI I think it would be sticking up high enough that it could rub the footwell on a bumpy lawn but um, the reason I thought about doing that was to uh, run a belt forward up to a blower uh, blower I was going to mount on the front of this 522XI so I can blow grass off the driveway much faster than it can do it now it just takes forever to do it I got a driveway here to mow or, or, or a large lawn here to mow in the driveways blacktop driveway is probably uh, about 500 feet long I thought it'd be nice to speed up the process but there's the other 5xi deck it's a little bit rough um, when you're going to a dealer to get a, your blades for a 52 inch Toro deck uh, pay attention to the size of the center hole uh, I'm pretty sure all of these use a half inch center hole uh, but like a 52 the old floating deck 52 inch walk behinds used I believe they used a 5 8 inch center hole I have some spindles in a box back there in my mess but um, yeah my neighbor's 52 inch uh, uses um, 5 8 inch center hole blades but um, yeah I got I think I got one of these for 50 bucks on Craigslist another one I got for 75 uh, through Craigslist uh, summer of 2018 and then the third one well that one was with my 266H I actually have another 266H in the corner I bought darn I think about 10 years ago for 100 bucks it didn't run um, common problem with the uh, 260 series tractors is if they all of a sudden one day won't start it's very likely in a safety interlock switch went bad on you and because uh, my 266 H just one day and I think it was 2008 one day it just stopped running and I didn't get around to fixing it I just started moving it around and then I bought the 520XI. I think I bought that in 2012, I think. But it has manual steering, so I bought, I paid cash for the 522XI at a local John Deere dealer. I think that was uh, winter of 20, I think it was winter of 2015. Because uh, I've had trouble with uh, Lyme disease causing pain in my arms and causing me to lose strength in my arms. But um, I like the 52 inch deck so much that I even have a, a snap or a commercial walk behind 52 inch deck back there. I want to turn that into 
like a wing mower or a pull type mower. I haven't decided yet. I got three of the 36, the, the similar 36 inch commercial walk behind snappers. There's a deck from one. There's the carrier frame. Well, I get the carrier frame also, but um, I, I had years ago, I had a um, 60 inch deck that I ran on my 520XI and boy did it work that engine really hard. It worked it so hard that I, I just thought, boy, this is too much of a mower deck for the tractor. And I sold it to a guy, Tarn is somewhere east of uh, Chicago, or he might have even been in Indiana. Sold that, I don't know, three, four years ago. And um, I got 600 bucks for it. I, I, I had a bidding, I basically, one day in January, I had people calling me from, you know, this one guy in Winona, another guy in near Milwaukee, another guy I think near New Jersey, and then the guy east of Chicago that all of a sudden, all in one day, were calling me on the 60-inch mower deck, and I, the, the guy east of Chicago says I'll buy it and then I think he he put money down on it within a day or two and um, that was January and he ended up picking it up we met in um, Wisconsin Dells that following April and uh, he, he talked to me on the phone long enough he decided yeah I trust this guy and he I'm pretty sure he um, yeah, I think he had paid for the whole deck uh, before uh, several months before picking it up. So, but as I have learned, and I, I've said on many other videos, the 5XI Toro Garden Tractors, unless you're running the little 42-inch deck or maybe the 44-inch deck, you want to take the side panels off. The, the engine just can't breathe and cool off enough if you got the side panels on. I actually had one dealer, a well-known dealer, I'm not going to name, says, yeah, you got to take the side panels off to let the engine cool, run a little bit cooler. There was, um, years ago, I had, I had two uh, case uh, 448s in here, two project tractors, and... Um, both of them needed work, and uh, well, years ago, uh, Case, um, those tractors were also made for Massey Ferguson. The Massey Ferguson version uh, had uh, a fully enclosed hood, and they had troubles with the engines running hot. And people were uh, taking panels off or taking the whole hood off so the engine could breathe. You know, I th I just think it's a bad trend that you know e these mower manufacturers decided that they have to close up the whole hood on the tractor. Maybe they don't want kids uh, sticking their hands on the side of the engine and burning their hands and then suing the company. But another thing about these 52-inch decks is these gauge wheels, the rear gauge wheels. Those, when you want to buy one of those from a Toro dealer, that wheel right there is $52. And one wheel is probably not going to last all summer. There, let me get the uh, flashlight out again. So that's one that has a, a metal rim and an outside rubber tire. See there, well, there's already a crack in the back of this one. And several of the decks I've had also, they have this other style of a solid plastic type wheel. And then I got, uh, how many, I think I got four, 
260 series 38 inch decks that use that same rear wheel and it just annoys me annoys the heck out of me that um, that a Toro dealer is charging 52 bucks for one of the metal wheels with rubber tires on them. I don't know what they charged for the plastic ones, if they still sell them. Uh, I found two of these wheels at a garage sale, I don't know, a good five years ago. And they happened to have the same center hole size and the same height. I think that is a six inch tall wheel. And that one was ruined. I still have one just like it on the other side of the 52 inch deck out there. But uh, I have gone on eBay and I find places that sell, will sell two of these for about 50 bucks. And I don't remember if that's plus shipping or minus shipping. But uh, anyway, but for now, I'm going to keep all my. 260 series decks. Uh, I will be selling the 520XI eventually because it has manual steering so I want to keep a deck for it for when I sell it. But because um, it would be a lot harder to sell it without a deck. But uh, You know, I guess, you know, I do live uh, east of St. Paul, Minnesota, by chance. If there's someone out there that has uh, one of these 5XI series 52-inch decks, and they're looking for one for a 260 series, uh, I would consider a trade um, of one of them, uh, plus cash. Coming for me, I'd have to plan ahead of it to make sure I have the extra money. But I really like the 52 inch more than uh, I've had a I had a 48 that came with my 520XI. I've had every 5XI deck except the 44 inch. The 42 inch rear discharge does not cut well. It just sucks. But. Um, Anyway, oh, I think I've rambled on long enough about the 52-inch Toro mower decks. Um, I do have several other videos on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, about um, the Toro 5XI series. Um, I have this impeller in another video from a... 42 inch single stage snow blower. I think it's still usable. Um, the previous user um, ran it without skids and wore down one end of it about a half inch. And the sprockets kind of rough. I think the sprockets replaceable, but I do have a video, a detailed video of, of this I put up a day ago. So, anyway. Uh, I guess that's all I can think of. Uh, thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.